Hello, happy Humbery Wednesday. I'm just in to get some wood in the shed. Not to mend to have a drink on the secret. Got another brew on, you can probably hear it in the background. Rattling away. This is my Admiral Smash beer. Look how clear it is. It came out really, really clear. I mean, it was really clear even in the fermenter, which I was amazed at. Fantastic. So I brewed this, I can't even remember. It's start of January sometime, so. It's been a while coming, but I had to wait for it. It's been quite bitter ever since I put it into the bottles. And it's just taken, it has taken like literally six, six weeks, five, six weeks for it to just to come right. But it's really turned out quite nice. So there's not much of a head. So it's clear, lovely little kind of pale ale colour. Not much on the nose. You don't really get anything with Admiral. Any kind of aroma. Not a lot. Get a little bit of the malt maybe, but that's it. So cheers. Taste is <clears throat> there's quite a nice little bitterness in there as well, but the taste is like it's kind of an oranginess. It's not it's not really hardcore orange or anything like that. It's quite, kind of a nice little. Kind of a multi kind of multi kind of orangey taste. It's like a pale ale. It's an English pale ale, but it's it's just got that little something else. It's just to push it, you know, up. I can't was saying it's it's a bit like first gold. And the first gold is a bit like um, I always consider first gold to be um, goldings on steroids. And Admiral is first gold's bigger brother, so. Yeah, not sure what this is on meth. Starting Golding's on meth. I I'm generally I always consider myself. I told people this. I'm a bit of a schizophrenic when it comes to beers, especially drinking beers, because I don't really like to drink the same thing twice. I can maybe stretch the two, but then I really want to change. But with this, I find myself now just I just I can just drink it. You know, three, four, no problem at all. And I'll still want another one. That's very unusual for me. So. I mean, even one of the nicest beers I've ever done, like the Supercharger, two of them was enough. Fantastic. Look how clear it is. Can't really believe that. Anyway, they're drunk, so I'll settle it down. So yeah, I've got a got a brew on now. Got a new brew in the fridge. Brewed at the weekend. I'll put a video up probably a week or two from now on it. Um, it seems to be lively anyway, so that's good. There was the black IPA from a couple of weeks back in the fridge that I bottled, finally bottled at the weekend. Um, I was saying last week that there's a certain taste to it, an off flavour. It's still there, it's kind of this medicinal kind of taste. It tastes like, a, you know. Tastes like savlon or you know platy a plaster, whatever. It's just not good. It's not. It, it hasn't ruined the whole beer. This is the funny thing. You can still drink it, and you think mm, it's a bit of a weird flavour in there. Or then any other time I've had that taste, it's been like I can barely. I can't even drink it. It's just like one or two mouthfuls, and that's it. It's just super bitter. So I'm hoping against hope that that's going to turn out okay, but. Realistically, I think it's going to be a tipper. So I've bottled it up in the my big one liter IKEA bottles. Um, about twenty of those, and because they're real dead easy to fill and pop tops as well, so you're not pissing about with capping. So the bottling took no time at all. So we'll see how it turns out, but I'm really not holding up any hope for that one. I think we've it's a, it's we've lost it. That ship is that ship has sailed. Ceased to be 
It's a stiff. Curled, curled up its tootsies. It's shuffled off as mortal coil. Pushing up the daisies and all that shit. So yeah. Um, chili stout as well. Is now in the bottles as well. Bottled it up at the weekend. It's tasting pretty good as well. Um, so hopefully I'll get tasting that in a couple of weeks. When it's properly carbonated. And we'll see. Um, I see Rusty's doing a chili porter. It's kind of halfway through the video before I came out here. So, uh, yeah, I think maybe I could send him one of my stouts and he could maybe send me one of those and we'll, you know, mix and match. We'll compare notes. Let's call it that. So, so yeah, um, the only other thing um, that's happened this week is that I have won a competition. In fact, just let me go and get the prize. Okay, so as I was saying, I won a, pri won a competition by run by a fellow uh, brewtuber. He goes by the the name uh, the Beer Journal. So he had a competition. He was sent um, a product. This product here. This this is like a a toothbrush with no head. So uh, yeah. So he was doing a review on this, and then he said he was running the competition. He had five of these to give away. So what it is. Is that it's supposed to it's supposed to give your beer more head? So you can see my beer there. I've never actually used this before. It only literally came this evening, so I haven't had a chance to use it because this is the first of the night. So, so it doesn't vibrate or nothing like that. It creates some kind of ultra. I think it's some kind of ultrasonic waves, and it goes into the beer and releases the CO2 trapped in the beer. Does it work? I don't know. Let's find out. But it doesn't vibrate or nothing like that, so even though it does look like a vibrator. It's like something you would it's like something you would uh, accidentally sit on at the weekend when you're drunk. You know that one of them ones. Okay, here we go. Holy shit. Holy shit, look at that. It's a nice little head on it. Oh wow! Look at the actual head. The head is like really smooth. It's like a like the top of a pint of Guinness or something like that. Oh my God! That changes the beer altogether. It tastes like it tastes more like it's being pulled from like like a cask or something like that. that worked honestly that's really good so there you have it an in-depth review not really so yeah I'm gonna be messing about with this over the next couple of days maybe the weekend I'll maybe post up a little update video to see how it's going with other different styles but on that one like two seconds that's a good job so uh, Very good. So cheers to um, to Jack, I think his name is, over at the Beer Journal, and to Alex over at the store for sending me out. Like that's it's really good. So uh, yeah, the competition. The question was for the competition is what is the worst beer you've ever drunk? And my answer was that once I was on a a business trip. Let's say that business trip over somewhere in Europe and um, there was a couple I work for a company that has different sites around Europe and uh, we were with um, our Dutch colleagues and uh, yeah we were all uh, being taken out for the night by this supplier and, and they were treating us to uh, this lavish meal and all this wine like loads of different wine because they're all really you know wine nerds and then there was kind of there was one guy of the Dutch contingent that I was something said, and he didn't really drink wine at all. All he drinks was beer. Of course, I I drink anything that's sat in front of me. Let's face it, I'm Irish. Come on. Um, but so yeah, I took it upon myself then to 
order a beer, made the big point of ordering a beer in front of everybody when everybody was just drinking wine. And what wine will we try now? What wine? I thought, I don't beer. Well, you want a beer? Yes. So yeah, we ordered basically the local, the local beer, and it was some crappy lager, and it was it tasted like cardboard, really. It tasted like fizzy cardboard. Not nice at all. Um, and then after I'd ordered it, it was like um, it was like a basically spot in spot in the soup or something like that. It was just like. Oh, you disgust me, you disgust me, do you want beer? And then our host then asked me every time we went out, it was right for the weekend, our host then asked me like uh, every time we ate something, do you want a beer with that? Do you want a f and breakfast? Like, would you like a beer with that too? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there you are. That was me taking one for the team, so yeah. So I think that's it. I'll just knock it on the head there because um, I've, I've run out of beer here and um, I've nothing else to talk about. In fact, I have run out of beer. Okay, the dangerous thing about keeping your beer in the shed is that you've always got a supply, a bit too handy. So, this is another beer. This is not the Admiral. This is something else, which I'm not going to tell you because we've got a grain of glass on this coming next week, I think. But I know that this is a little bit under carbonated. So it'll be interesting to see what this gizmo does to undercarbonated beer. Actually looks okay there. It smells pretty good, I have to say. It's not a review of a beer I've not shown you. Green light means go. Green means go! So here we go. So yeah, you can see that it's doing something. It's definitely doing something. So this is slightly less carbonated than that last one. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of head it goes on. Still got like a pure white head. It's not huge, which I guess means that there's not quite as much um, sugar in the beer or CO2, or whatever. What does it taste like? It tastes pretty much the same, to be honest. Let's give it an oblast. blast. It is some kind of magic. Well, something's definitely happening in a minute, so it interesting to see what that's like in a stout. In fact, I do have a stout. Let's go! Let's go now! Okay, no, I think I may as well wrap that up. I don't think of anything I'll have to talk about that I think. So there is actually one thing. If you remember, um, just before Christmas, I'm just pointing this at you. Um, I put up a video, I think it was the last Half at Friday video I did. Telling you about the Smith, the weird Smithix ad that was addressing the home brewers of Ireland. Well, there's been a new development. So there's a new there's a new ad out this week. I'll let you see it now. Home brewers of Ireland. Why not enter the Smithix Home Brew Challenge? You could win yourself a chance of brewing your very own beer at our brewery. Smithix Homebrew Challenge. We're in it for the love of it. Okay, so there you are. They're running a homebrew, homebrew competition. And it said something about... Um, summer. It has to be a summer fruits beer. in small adders at the bottom. So there you are. Now, immediately, in my mind, that's saying to me that, that Guinness are running a competition. It's like, it's like those TV shows um, in America where you see... You know the police, they send you like a, a letter saying that you've won this speedboat or something like that, the criminal, and then the criminal comes and then they arrest them. 
it, it kind of makes me think it's like that, but Guinness are sending it out to homebrewers. And if you enter the competition, they'll, they'll tell everybody they've won, and then they'll bring them in, into Hop House 13 there, and just shoot them in the head, execute them, there and then. That's, you know, that's just my opinion, that's I, what I think's going on. But you know, I'm a paranoid rack, so there you are. Every time I see one of those Guinness quality team bands, I think that is the SWAT team. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna stop it there because it's just it is turned into a massive ramble. I can only apologise about that. But you know, I came out to talk about that Admiral beer now I'm talking about bloody Guinness murdering people. Um Yeah, okay, that's it. I'm away. So yeah, cheers. See you next week.